who did not like the trees. And this is the story how he tries to get rid of them.
for each newborn Jewish baby born.
daughter adopted Moses, and the boy was brought up in the king's palace. He knew he was a Judean Egyptian, but did a Jew. One day when he had grown up, he saw an Egyptian being very cruel to a Jew, one of his relatives. He looked around to check he was alone, and in his rage, he killed the Egyptian, burying him in the sand, and thought that no one had seen him. However, he later found out that the people did know what he had done. The king was even searching for him to be killed. So he ran away to the land of midday and settled there. In time, the king died and his son, the new pharaoh, took over. He treated the Jews just as badly as his father had. His father had taught him to be cruel and to persecute the Jews.
down to Moses that she would send angels of death to kill all the first four children in the land. If a Jewish family was told to sacrifice a lamb and smear its blood on their front door, as the angels of death came to them, it saw the blood and passed that house, spared them from death. All the other first four children in the family were killed from poorest to richest, including Pharaoh's son.
to bring something like this to fruition. And I'd just like to thank everybody that was involved with that. Um, first of all, behind so many things happening behind the scenes. The lights were done by Mr. Lufala. Thank you, Mr. Lufala, who's up there in the room. <coughs> the sound by 
Mr. Tiba. Thanks, Mr. Tiba. I think I found you. The backdrops were done by Mr. Focoloni and the grade three, four, and five teachers. Well done to all of them. While I'm talking about the backdrop, you've all seen this incredible backdrop with the, um, all the, well, there it is. To be honest, I looked at this and I thought, well, we've got a backdrop. You know, in the old days, it used to just be painted. And then we got a screen with a projector. And when I saw this one, I thought, well, why don't we go and get one of those for the school? Um, it would be very nice. Until I went and had a look at it. You have no idea how high-tech that backdrop is. It's what's used in all the big concerts, and here we have it for our grade 3, 4, and 5 play. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> now, we have... Ah, there we go. Oh, we've got all our great helpers there. Brilliant. So, we do have some special... Oh, and of course, before we go any further, the costumes. Weren't these costumes? Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Thanks to Mrs. Kema, who, who um, was behind all of these, plus all the great three, four, and five parents who um, helped with them as well. Absolutely amazing, really. Now we have some uh, presentations to make here. Um, special things and uh, oh. isn't it great having a full band? Yes. <laughs> and we'd like to call you guys up. Thank you. You've done the girls, the girls boys have absolutely loved this. Having a, of course, Mr. Bosch will talk about her just now, but. On the, on the base, who is the base? Mr. Manuro? That's it. Oh, Mr. Manuro, sir. On the base, Mr. Ali. Thank you. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Craves. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for having you with us. Thank you. And our junior mistresses, Behind the scenes, my goodness, they've worked hard as well, and we'd like to call them up. And we've got Miss Zed. Where's Miss Zed? Got to come to the front here. Yeah? There we go, Miss Zed, Miss D, and Miss H. Thank you for all your help. And then, of course, the teachers, the teachers behind the scenes, they've been doing um, so much of this, all the acting and the preparations and that, it really does take an enormous amount of effort. And we'd like to call them up and give them a small presentation here, in no particular order, but we have Miss Miko.
This is Porsche. Give us one more song, aren't you? Yeah. Yes! Great! 